Well, he spoke here just about 30 minutes ago. People starting to file out of the room. But you know what a difference a year and a half makes. John Cox didn't even vote for Donald Trump. But now that he has his endorsement, he's taking that and running with it. He's also taking a page out of President Trump's playbook and making a slight twist on his campaign slogan that was make America great again. Well, John Cox told the crowd today that together we will make California the golden state again. Let's show you some video as he took the stage just about half an hour ago. Again, not official yet, but Cox appears solidly in second place. And he's already slamming the Democrats and Gavin Newsom, saying the people of this state have been beaten into submission by Democrats. He says the way things are right now, the state is unaffordable and says that if Gavin Newsom gets his way, the state income tax would double. Now, according to John Cox's website, his top two priorities are repealing the gas tax that was pushed by Governor Jerry Brown last year and then ending California's policy as being a sanctuary state. And while Gavin Newsom may have done Cox a favor in the election by running ads that may have helped put him into that second spot so Newsom wouldn't have to run against Antonio Villaraigosa, now it's on to the general election and Cox is on the offensive. They attacked our campaign and I'm happy to tell you they failed, didn't they? Yes. And we saw this repeated across the state in legislative races and congressional races. They wanted to limit the choice to one party. Well, I'm telling you, one party in Sacramento, one party rule in Sacramento is bad enough, but one party elections is just plain un-American. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel. 